The following program contains mature content matter. Listener discretion is advised. Since the dawn of time, the world has been plagued by demons and monsters, cloaked by the night and shadows. However, humanity found out about these creatures and sent out brave men and women to defend their homelands. These are the tales of the Monster Hunters. Damn it, Pat! Were you trying to miss on purpose? I'm sorry, Smith and Weston. Why don't you run and shoot behind you and tell me how easy it was? I would, but I dropped my gun. You dropped your gun? How did you manage that? When I was running, I realized there was a black smudge on my left hand. So as I went to my pocket to get a wipe, let me tell you, it's not as easy as it looks to hold a gun in one hand and use your other to get a wipe when you are running. Why did you have to choose that moment? Couldn't you have waited until we stopped? Are you insane? The smudge was still fresh, which means it's easier to clean off before it dries up. Oh, yes, yes. I'm the insane one. Uh, guys? What are we going to do about the werewolf? Hope it doesn't know how to fire a gun. Here's a crazy thought. What if the werewolf decides to change back, pick up the gun, and then shoot you? Then we would call that irony. See? It's still in werewolf form. That or else it's really horny and it's calling out for its mates. Oh, good. Good. Two werewolves. Don't worry, we still outnumber them. Really? Only me and Reggie are armed? So am I. Uh, with what? My wits. Don't tell me you have an idea. I do? Well, that's good. What is it? Oh, I'm sure it won't be something crazy. One of us lures the werewolf out into the open, while one of us climbs up into a tree just above where said person will be. Then, when furry comes along, person and tree will shoot the werewolf. And, uh, just who's going to lure the werewolf out? Reggie. Me again? Yes, you. Oh, why always me? After your episode at the wolf preserve, you have been marked by the wolf scent. That werewolf won't be able to resist you. Wolf scent? Yeah, it's like a cheap smell of sex you can never wash away. And me and you climb into the tree. Did you not hear me? I said one of us. Which one of us? Obviously you. Why me? I don't have proper tree climbing attire. Tree climbing attire? What exactly is tree climbing attire? Well, first I need some special gloves that will not tear, because the latex ones I have will be no good. Then I need pants I don't care about that can get trashed after we're done, as well as a disposable shirt and coat. Why would you need a disposable shirt if you have a coat on? I'm going to be sweating, Pat. I can't wear that shirt after that. And I can't keep going out and buying new clothes. Why don't you just wash your clothes? Why do you need to keep buying new ones? Because Christy refuses to do my laundry anymore. Why? When she did my last load, she put certain items in the wrong spot in the dresser drawer. When I commented on it and told her I like things in a certain order because of a certain flow of where they should be, she got all pissy and said, well, if the flow does not like how I put his laundry away, the flow can do his own laundry. Don't you think it would be cheaper to just do it yourself? Maybe. Unless Brooke can be convinced to do my laundry. Brooke is not doing your laundry. You think I wanted to see the underwear that you wear? That's not a problem. I don't wear underwear anymore. What? Yeah. I found it to be too constricting. I'm sure you don't have that problem. Uh, guys? The werewolf? Brooke is not doing your laundry! Some girlfriend she is. Why even keep her around then? Okay, Mr. Bait. You stand here right under this tree. Pat will climb up, and then, when Wolf is here, pow, pow, dead werewolf. What will you be doing? I'll be standing behind the tree, staying out of sight. I don't want the werewolf to come after me. <laughs> How silly of me to ask. Do you really think this is going to work? Of course it will. Just make some noise or something. I'm sure it will come for you. Don't worry about it. Huh. Yeah, who's worried? 
Come on, Pat. How long does it take for you to climb a tree? You want to climb up that tree, Curious George? Only thing I'm curious about is why it's taking you so long. Oh shit, it's coming. I don't see it. Give it time. When are you ever going to be the bait? <laughs> yeah, sure. You think I'm going to stand up there like an idiot and hope some monster doesn't kill me? Oh, you're such a brave hunter. Hey, while we're waiting, I had a thought. About? Shepherd's pie. What about it? You think some person named Shepherd came up with it and that's why it's called Shepherd's pie? Has this been keeping you up at night, really? Shit, here it comes. Uh, guys? Get ready to shoot, Pat, and don't miss. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna shoot you. Guys! Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? I'm out of silver bullets. Of course you are, mister. Couldn't hit the side of a barn if it was in front of you. What are we gonna do? Don't you have any bullets? What good is that? I don't have my gun. I have my gun, stupid. It's the same gun. Remember? We use the same gun for situations like this. Yeah, but your hands are dirty. So put your gloves on! But I only have one pair left. How am I gonna pump gas later? I'll pump it. But you said after the last time, was the last time you are going to... I'm dropping the gun. Catch it. Will you two do something? Do you know how hard it is to sneak in those hospital rooms and steal these? Catch! Help, it's on top of me! Thank goodness, that was the last silver bullet. You okay? Oh, I am now. Thanks, Bruno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get all sappy on me. If I let I kill you, who will do my work at a pizzeria? You're all heart. What about the dead werewolf? I'll call Christy, have her get this Rashford guy to come clean this up. That's the guy they called after we killed the vampire at the Silver Screen Oasis. Yep. You ever met him? Nope. Oh, that was a close one, Pat. It sure was. All right, she's calling him. Do we wait? No. So we just leave the body here? That's been asked and answered, Counselor. Aren't you even a bit curious to meet this guy? Not when Smitty's Pancake Festival is on. You that hungry? So hungry that I'm going to wolf them down. Tales of the Monster Hunter Serial Box Issue was voiced by Antonio Ferrara as Bruno, Enzo Ferrara as Pat, and Paul Cairns as Reggie. End credits theme by Alexander Ferrara. Roach Free Music, sourced from Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com and Pixabay. Audio Engineering by Alexander Ferrara. Created by Antonio and Enzo Ferrara. Directed and produced by Antonio and Enzo Ferrara. Cover art by Enzo Ferrara. Edited and written by Antonio Ferrara. Creative consultant Paul Cairns. This presentation of Tales of the Monster Hunters has been brought to you by Giant Monster Productions, copyright 2023. To contact Giant Monster Productions, email at giantmonsterprod at hotmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at Giant Monster Pro, Instagram at Tales of the Monster Hunters, and on Facebook and YouTube. If you have enjoyed this podcast and want to hear more, please subscribe, like, and favorite so you never miss an episode. Thank you for listening.